Hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and I'm a wellbeing practitioner with Access Community Trust. And due to the unprecedented challenges that we're facing at the moment, I'm unable to get out into the community to deliver the mindfulness groups that were planned. So I thought it would be a lovely idea to bring a wellbeing resource to you that you can use at home. Just a short series of, of meditations, mindfulness meditations that you can tap into when you feel the need. Um, they'll be in various lengths and we'll start off with an introductory session today and then organise things into topics that you might find interesting. So do keep an eye out for those. So just really very quickly, uh, a bit about myself, why, why mindfulness? Um, I've always been interested in self-inquiry and self-improvement from quite a young age and looked into things like Buddhism, for example. Some of the teachings of, of Buddhist ideas are, are very pertinent really to, to having a good balanced lifestyle and living in ways that are altruistic and supportive and, and enhancing for our well-being really. Um, over time, my interests ranged all over the place, but I, I, in the last couple of years, been interested in the work of um, John Kabat-Zinn. Some of you may have heard of him. He's an American researcher, meditation teacher, clinician, working in the field of integrative um, mind-body uh, medicine, lifestyle changes, that sort of thing. And he developed uh, an eight-week program, which a lot of mindfulness teachers use now, called MBSR, which is Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction. And that's essentially what my courses would be based around. Um, so I, I thought just to put together a few sessions, really to start off with a, a little bit of an introduction for those of you that are unaware of the benefits of mindfulness and to develop some topics that we can dip into where and when you want really and depending on what, what you feel the need for but um, this is a time of great stress um, for all sorts of reasons right across the board none of us are immune to it and it's not helped by the media um, there's lots of emotive words around at the moment that feel that feeling even further so lots of words around panic lockdown you know this type of thing which just doesn't help us to feel calm or reassured at all with the challenges that we are going to have to face all of us at, in some way or other so what can we do to help manage this overload well i'm going to introduce you to a very simple technique a, a breath awareness technique but before i start i will just explain really very simply what's happening to us in our brains and our bodies when we're stressed. So our brains, they're incredible things. Um, and if you think of it as a, as a computer, then the operating system is, is the most sophisticated you could imagine. We can multitask, we can use our imaginations, we can invent, you know, there's so many incredible things that our brain does. But unfortunately, the hard drive part of it um, has never really had an upgrade, so it's still very much operating on the primitive system. Um, that, for those of you that are unaware of the, the sympathetic nervous system, this is our fight and flight. This is what kept our cave-dwelling ancestors alive in times of threat or in order to find food. So they were in a constant state of hyper alert and that was fine for them because if they had to run or fight they would, would disperse all of the, the sort of stress hormones and, and other sort of physiological states that our body got into. Um, but unfortunately for us in our more sort of sedentary world um, and lack of opportunity to disperse these things it builds up in the body and over time has really quite an adverse effect on our health, our mental well-being, our ability to fight off infection. And obviously all of those things are incredibly important right now, I'm sure you'd agree. So one of the things that mindfulness techniques does is to 
as a kind of complete contrast to that, it will operate your parasympathetic nervous system or what's known as your rest and digest. So this is quite calming and it's a good sort of antidote to all the stress and overwhelm that we're feeling. So one of the ways that we can operate that is through breath awareness. I'm just going to introduce you to a really simple technique which is in fact borrowed from yoga or the Drew Yoga School, D-R-U. For those of you who are interested, there's lots of information on the internet so do take a look um, and videos you can follow, very accessible and simple techniques. So why have I chosen this? Well, it's a very good way of concentrating on the breath um, and then that helps your mind to switch off a bit from the worrisome thoughts but also the physical technique we're going to use actually helps to really open up the lungs, helps you to co concentrate on the, on the counting out of the breath. And then because we're breathing out for longer than we're breathing in, that's the key thing here really, is that it starts to operate that lovely rest and digest system and will help us to feel a lot calmer. So I'd like to welcome you to the pigeon breath technique and the reason it's called the pigeon breath you will see in a moment. I will demonstrate it first and then you can have a go by yourself. So essentially you're going to just bring your fingers together and pop them under your chin. Take a deep breath in and as you breathe in your arms are going to come up quite high like the wings of a bird and as you do that your rib cage expands, you can take in a nice deep breath. And then when we come to blow out, we're gonna blow out through the mouth as if it was a tiny straw, so that your breath, out breath, is gonna be a lot longer than the in breath, and that's what helps to calm us down. So if you want to take in that breath and then down and your hands together and then lower your chin again so if you want to have a go in your own time we're going to take a deep breath in bring the wings up and just hold for a moment and as you blow out just count that breath so it will help to keep you focused As you release that breath you might like to think of it as the coo of a pigeon so it might seem a bit odd and you know maybe somebody's watching you maybe they're not but don't feel worried about that I can guarantee you if you just try this a few times and you can do this anytime anywhere that's the beauty of it you have a moment you're just feeling completely overwhelmed or upset or just need a time out you know you can take yourself off anywhere and do this so we'll just do it three times together. And it really is that simple. I hope that in doing that, as long as you feel you need to, that you will start to feel a lot more peaceful and calm. So do take the opportunity to do that when the time arises and you feel that need. And I will look forward to speaking to you again in the series of bite-sized sessions. Um, and in the meantime, just stay strong, stay safe, to speak to your loved ones by the phone, whatever means you can, draw support from community um, and I'll look forward to speaking to you all again very soon. Take care now.